Hello, and welcome to the Strafford Technology video instruction. Today we will show you how to deal with out-of-memory errors in the planning web application logs. There are three things you can do to improve the performance of the planning application. The first one is to increase the Java heap size. You can increase the heap size to a maximum of one gigabyte if you have the available RAM to dedicate to planning. It is recommended to increase both the minimum and the maximum heap size to 1024 or 1024 megabytes. Increasing the minimum heap size will help because it lowers the overhead needed to manage garbage collection in a dynamically expanding heap. Do not exceed 1024 megabyte or you may see performance actually decrease. The step-by-step -step procedure for modifying the Java heap size varies from one application server to another. Contact your web application administrator for assistance. I'm going to show you how to change your heap size in Windows 8.1. In Windows 8.1, you will search for System Properties and the Advanced tab in the System's Property window. From here, you will select the Environment Variables box. This will bring up another window where you can establish your system variables. Here, I will show you how I have changed the Java settings, your Java options. You will hit the box that says new, but in this case, I'm going to show you with an edit what I've done previously. When you hit new, you'll bring up a box and then you'll fill in Java underscore OPTS. It stands for Java options. Then you'll input dash capital X, lowercase m, lowercase s, 1024m, space, dash, uppercase x, lowercase m, lowercase x, 1024m. You hit OK, and then you close the environmental, environmental variables box by hitting OK as well. This will be how you change your heap size within Windows 8.1. The second option you have available to you is to turn off process management for version and scenario members for which it is not needed. By default, new scenario and version members are enabled for process management. Each entity scenario version combination costs resources because planning must check who currently owns the planning unit and check the security settings. If you have many scenarios and versions, the number of combinations increases rapidly. Decide what versions and scenarios you need to be available for process management and then disable the others. If you are not using process management at all, then you can disable process management support for all versions and scenario members. To disable process management support, edit a member of the scenario or version dimension. In the member properties, uncheck the enable for process management checkbox. Repeat for each member you want to disable the process. I'm going to demonstrate on how you would change this for a specific version member. We are going to choose version as our dimension and final as the member. We're going to click on the edit button. And here you can see the enable for process management box. It's unchecked currently. You can enable it or disable it. Finally, your third option is to optimize the design of web forms. Large web forms impose by far the heaviest load on the planning JVM. Optimizing the design of forms can make a big difference to how fast a form opens and how many users can open it concurrently. You optimize the size of your form by keeping a couple tips in mind. First, you want to populate 
as few members as possible in each form. You do this by selecting lower level members within the hierarchies for each dimension. Also, you want to try to avoid suppressing missing blocks and missing data. When you do this, you avoid the system having to look at an entire list of members, evaluating the data to find out if it is has a missing block or it's empty, and then populate the form relative to that evaluation. So for instance, if you took the top level of capital expenditures or even um, going to the top level of accounts and you had approximately 500 members below it and then you chose to suppress missing blocks in order to populate this form planning will go out and look at every single one of the children and evaluate whether or not it needs to bring it in in the visual format of the form this could take considerable time and resources. There are many other ways to optimize your forms. This is just one example of how to make that happen. This concludes our instruction on how to deal with out of memory errors in the planning web applications log. Please feel free to contact us if you have any further questions.